This is Average Joe PT, where we're here to improve your function, reduce your anxiety, master your pain. Now today, what are we talking about, Scully? Good old knee pain. That's right, we're talking about the good old knee and the knee joint. We're gonna talk about the ways that you can go ahead and reduce that pain in that knee joint that's been killing you for quite some time. Now, if you're new to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe down below. Scully and I, we bring content once or twice a week, depending on how crazy it is around our lives. Ain't that right, Scully? It's not crazy in my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're just hanging around. But today, we're gonna talk about the three main techniques and treatments that you can do to reduce your knee pain. Stay tuned. There's two main techniques that we need to look at in regards to knee pain. Now these two techniques are pretty obvious, you probably never even think of it before, but technique number one is this. When you're going to go up onto a step, or if you're going to do a squat kind of motion or a kneeling to a kneeling motion, you need to make sure that your knee stays in line with your toe. Anytime your knee comes inwards, you're putting way too much stress on those tendons and that knee joint itself, and it's going to give you some kneecap or around the tendon, it's going to get inflamed, you're going to get tendonitis. So that all coming from that hip. This hip controls where that knee goes as I come up and as I come down. If my hip's weak, I'm gonna get a knock knee or a valgum type movement when I go ahead and do that. You don't want to, you wanna keep it pulled out, knee stays in line with your toe. So I'm gonna give you one treatment technique for that. And the second one is when your car coming up, whoo, like that, whoo, or back down, or you're coming down into a squat motion, those thigh muscles, thigh four is quadriceps, that's the fancy word in Latin, those four muscles control that kneecap. And if that kneecap is weak or irritated because those muscles are weak, then that's gonna give you some pain. So I'm gonna give you another treatment technique that you can do to reduce this problem. As well as I'm gonna give you some taping techniques and some functional things that you need to do in order to reduce this overall knee pain. Ain't that right, Scully? He's bringing the treatment That's right, techniques. I'm bringing the treatment techniques. I'm bringing so many of them, your head and my head is spinning. No, don't light yourself on fire today. I'll light myself on fire Better if not, I want to. Stick around. Now that the rationalization is all down and out, let's actually talk about the real treatment that you can do. Number one taping technique. I'm gonna leave a link down below. This is called Coverall McConnell tape or Luco tape. This is just like the Kinesio tape, but this is the rigid tape. It's very cheap. I can get a giant roll for it for like maybe 10 or 15 bucks. Like the Kinesio tape that I've done in other episodes. This tape I'm gonna be using also for different types of problems that you're gonna have in your body. So if you're looking to purchase something that's cheap, then it's actually gonna work to reduce your pain versus just keeping taking pills. Luco McConnell tape. This taping technique is pretty simple for the knee. All you're going to do is take one strip, and the whole premise of this is to unload the tendon. You want to unload that actual kneecap tendon. And so you go to the kneecap, bam, and you look right at the base of the kneecap where that kneecap ends, literally where you're going to put the tape. And you're just going to come across your leg, get that nice and down. You're going to lift up the kneecap a little bit, and then you're going to go underneath, and you're going to come like in a upside down C motion. So you're going to give kind of like a lift up, and then you're going to tape from the outside of the knee and then come underneath and then kind of come up and do an up and inward motion. And that's gonna reduce some of that pain in that tendon as well as the kneecap. That'll unload it or lift it up a little bit. That's an easy one to try and fix if you're having that type of problem. You're gonna wear it for a couple days, like anything out, shower with it. If it gets itchy or scratchy, take it off immediately. It shouldn't, but if it does, definitely do that. And then you can rinse and repeat that. They shouldn't take you no more than probably three or four treatments of this. If that's gonna help, it's gonna be within probably a good week or so, you can go from there. Now, if it doesn't help, then obviously you're probably, you're probably gonna wanna follow up with your doctor, but this should help this overall knee pain. Now, I'm gonna give you the two strengthening exercises I want you to do that I talked about in a few seconds ago when it talks about doing the steps, and squatting, and kneeling. There's two, those two main muscle groups that you wanna work on. Exercise number one is going to be coming down in this position, you just want to be sitting up. I like to have something behind me to back, support my back a little bit, but you're going to keep your toes towards the ceiling and just lift up and then back down. Now, you, when you lift up, this is all coming from those four muscles. You're going to feel a pull maybe in the back muscles too. Those are your hamstring muscles. 
Those are the opposite muscles to your thigh or quadricep muscle. Lift up and down. Now, if you lie down flat and do it, it's gonna be even easier. And the reason for that is you're actually getting these muscles in the front, your hip muscles, to help you out. But we wanna isolate and just work that quad. Do you wanna come up and pause and then back down? You wanna do this till you get a nice little fatigue in that thigh. Don't try 10 or 15. You do that till that thigh muscle says, all right, I've done enough. Hey, get it right, Scully. That's not enough. Yeah, 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 you wish you had muscles. Uh-oh, really, you had to light yourself electricity. This guy's ridiculous. You know, he's never happy. All right, so that's the exercise for there. The second one you're going to do is you're gonna lie on your side and the, and the leg that's bothering you is the one that's sticking up. So this one's my right side. So you're just gonna come up, tuck the fanny in tight. Do not do a caboose. Up nice and tight and lift up, pause, and then back down. This one you should feel on the side. Now the third and final one, is with the knees bent, feet stay together, open and close. I always like to do this one where you put your hand in there so you can't rotate with your back. You keep your back and everything nice and straight as you rotate up and rotate down. You're gonna feel that fatigue on the side and the glute muscles. Those are the two main muscles of the hip as well as the main muscle in your thigh that's gonna help that knee pain when you're squatting, when you're kneeling. Now I'm gonna show you, this is this guy right here. Wait, oh, that's me, yes. I'm gonna show you this guy right here. It's exactly what you don't wanna do, and then what you wanna do to protect this knee joint. You better stick around and see this bozo. Scully and I, we want you to look at this next video up on the left or right, wherever I put that thing. And it's gonna go over some types of shoulder stuff that you need to look at if you're having shoulder pain. So, Scully and I would love to have you part of the family. If you're not already a subscriber, we'd love to have you subscribe and bring content once or twice a week. Scully and I are gonna give you a little bit of humor, a little reducing the anxiety, reducing that pain, and improving that function. But until next time, we want you to look up, woohoo, and keep smiling. Ain't that right, Scully? Keep smiling. Yup, he's got it, boys and girls. Look up and keep smiling. See you next time.